All right, we are back for a 4v4 on Road to Arnhem. We've got two OKWs and two Wehrmachts versus two Soviets and two Brits. Let's see here. So pretty, pretty normal um, teams for that then uh, between the Axis and the Allies. You can, of course, see the ranks above me. There is a few team ranks that I will quick mention. Uh, Pants Thief and Team Killer uh, have a team rank of 200, uh, or sorry, 2,374. And Riker and Erisi have a team rank of 1,578. I see. What, what was going on over here? Crap, how the frick do I... Pull this up again on the side. Not that. Uh, for the team chat thing. I thought it was just this button. I don't remember. <laughs> I kind of missed what was said. Okay, uh, on the bottom... We have Pants Thief, which I freaking love that name. That's freaking hilarious. Uh, playing Wehrmacht. We've got Team Killer playing OKW. We've got Andy playing Wehrmacht. And we have Blue playing OKW. Who has a Volk that is just sitting in the base right now? Up in the north are the allies. We have B Gaming, who has gone with defensive tactics. We have Erisi, who has no commander. Playing the Brits. Uh, we have Riker playing Soviets, who has gone with counterattack tactics. And we have Taz playing Commando Regiment as the British. Alright, and now we take a look at the engagement over on the left here. Actually, after this cast, uh, I might be in the mood for a game or two. We'll see. If I have people that want to play with me, then I might be down for a game or two. If not, then I'll probably just end it. That suppression by the MG is actually doing some pretty darn good work on the left-hand side here. Eno's trying to do some work as well. Have pretty normal engagements over here. The MG kind of kept uh, anyone off of there. All right, what a nice mortar hit <laughs> there. Not with Skippy. That's not true, freaking Joey. I don't owe it. I don't just play with Skippy. Jeez, yeah, cope, cope, Joey. Get that good old copium. You need it, man. <laughs> Doggo. <laughs> An anti tank gun has taken the field. Order. Heavy machine gun team prepared for combat. They have blanked the Vickers. Turns it quite aggressively at it. it Worked really well. Honestly, you could just put it in this building. Where is he going? Oh, he's he's got the MG flanking the MG big brain <laughs> Oh my gosh, the Kubel's dead. <laughs> Poor Kubel. Vickers, I would recommend you do something about this. Never mind, the infantry section's got it. <laughs> Curious what's going on over here. Uh, these pioneers are going to be absolutely destroyed uh, by the penals, and they might even get um, Every single time that the pants thief steal uh, kills someone he steals their pants <laughs> uh, This man is dead steal this pants <laughs> Like why is that a thought that I have? We have an MG42 has been stolen <laughs>
I have no clue where that mortar shot went. Was that over here? Is that over here? That might have went over here. You know, I think that was over here. Penals are moving in quite a great. Okay. Looks like uh, Riker has once again gone with three penals. Three penal strategy. Ooh, grenade, grenade, get him off the, uh, get him off the cover and destroy the cover. Very nice. Kind of, and the bunker has instantly been upgraded at this. Yeah, this is the perfect time to have the upgrade. We'll scare him off. Uh, Andy grab in the middle here while also kind of flanking. Uh, absolutely no one on the Axis has picked a commander yet. My penal, that's right. I'm more ahead. Did he die? No. Okay, he is alive. Okay, okay. I thought he died. Okay. Thought he died for a second. Ooh, we got brand guns. Very nice. Half a grenade doesn't do too much. G34 doing decent. Universal Carrier coming in to fight the, uh, machine gun, but I think I'm low health, like, yeesh. Uh, the Vickers, who didn't even get anywhere, is instantly retreating. I don't even think he saw troops, he's just like, alright, I'm out of here. <laughs> Seriously, no one on the Axis has picked anyone. Bunkers build 10% faster. Gee, that's nasty. I love it. <laughs> Teller mine one's actually really nice. Teller mines and minefields cost less. That's always nice. Volks receive less suppression. Hmm. We've got the flame to two, uh, sorry, two five one. The very spicy boy. Folks are gonna charge and follow, but I don't know if that's necessarily the best move right now. Well, if this guy's gonna follow, then yes, it is a good move. As he accidentally hits himself. Uh, they need something to do with that two five one. Okay, D Gaming did not get the snares off there, and the conscripts will just run away. Makes sense. Volt's almost dead there. Yeah, so pretty much uh, everybody on the right has kind of shifted the middle here. Uh, allies has not, have not really given up on the left yet. It kind of looks like. Which is probably the better strategy because of instead of everybody going middle, it just, would just be an absolute mess. Hmm. Hey, you still got no. Okay, the T70 obviously will probably be the thing that needs to deal with the 251 then. damage to the 251. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Arjun, Ura, don't elaborate for the retreat. This thing. <laughs> I think he was trying to get the snare off, but for some reason it was being weird. So it just didn't work, which sucks. <laughs> and, 
<laughs> As he's building the mine, this Vickers is like, they don't mind me. He's gonna set up shop. And that didn't work at all. <laughs> oh gosh, that's a pull for us here now? Okay. Alright, so he's gonna get all his dudes over to the right there and deal with that. This for sure will deal with the 251. Not if it's snared, though. <laughs> then it won't. <laughs> Rims the T-70. Shoots the freaking truck. Yeah, there's a mortar here. Oh, so here comes the Stuka. Which instantly does run away, which makes sense. Oh, I do always like the design of this one. Frank is going to start shooting the T-70. T-70 is trying to get some couple more pot shots on the uh, MG-34, though, before it runs off. Oh, left, we got another rack here moving into the middle, it kind of looks like here. It will be suppressed and also burned. <laughs> All right, Team Killer is going with Fortifications Doctrine. That is the only lock-in so far. So he's... Not exactly what he's gonna do to... Use that. If he's just waiting for LAFH's and Pack 43's that he's gonna make. And not really use the bunkers or anything too much. He is currently... He is making it over. Did I see that was queued up before it was even finished building? That's... That's actually really interesting. This SU-76 with his little barrage thing. And also camo, which is really funny. has been completed. Axis are grabbing the middle now. Two sections are running away over here. And there's the 251 again. Uh, nothing really that's currently healthy that can deal with it at the moment. The Brens trying to do a little something, but really can't. We do have a commander over here capping. On suppression, we got that MG42 here. Runs the Stuka. Let's not hit the mortar pit. Still is a conscript, though. So he has no idea the point that the mortar pit is being built there at the moment. As the Bofors uh, scares off a of grant. Is currently attacking ground. It still is. Should probably stop. Like soon. Enemy causing okay. trouble. Trying to take one of our points. Somebody find a mine. Get rid of the kill the tree. <laughs> I hate nature. <laughs> What is this mortar doing up so far? Oh, he wants the bow for instead. I can understand, but this is not the spot to go for. It. Oh yeah, he's uh, he's 100% dead. Bow for you can't shoot that far. Oh, so you should probably steal that mortar. <laughs> Hashtag anti tree team. Or team trees, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, it is. Okay. 
Which he has a medic next to it. Does that mean he's gonna upgrade it with the retreat probably? There's a plane overhead, but it's not close enough for the boat force view. Forest station. Oh shit. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't read the definitions yet. Not sure. I'm just gonna work here. Oh, what a great assist barrage. Jeez. Or not this barrage, that's you. Oh, yeah, well, that was the gun, not the SU 76. Alright. It's 40 damage. Isn't this one minus 80? Yeah, minus 80 damage. Oh, he knows it's there. Oh, my goodness, what a hit! If this one can hit. No. First hit was really good, though. Oh, that would have murdered it right there if he hadn't retreated earlier. There's a stern. Left side is still in Axis' hands here. Is the oh okay he went with an operation okay apparently we needed more LEFHs in pack 43s and Andy went with Festoon which means more pack 43s jeez Louise <laughs> and also the Panther Panzer 4 which is really nice Teller which you did not finish <laughs> If there's nothing to, oh actually there's a bunker here, I'm sorry. Probably should be more forward though. Hey, okay, look at all these two okay. I know you guys are team deforestation, but here's a couple trees that also died here as well. In case you were curious. I feel like that bunker should be more forward though. Oh, the right side is pretty well defended though as well. It's it's gonna be tough to break that. Oh, there's a flak panzer. Do what the probably recon. Duke is firing. Right on the mortar pit. I mean, machine gun die? Yeah. MG42 is dead. E34 moving in. On the side of the rack here. Which is currently trying to hit the mortar bed. Wow, that shot sucked. That shot didn't. There's a solid Zisperage there. Wow, that T-34 did nothing. Kinda stood there and just kept trying. Failed miserably. There is nothing in the middle stopping a charge. <laughs> Which it looks like that's exactly what they're finding out here. There we go, T-34. You got a shot. Good job, buddy. Oh, that's a Panzer IV. Wow, that missed horribly. Hmm. A flame nade and a bundle nade. The bundle nade did absolutely nothing. Flame nade will do some stuff, though. Is this gun... I see 76 just missed completely. This gun apparently doesn't feel like fire. Okay, there it goes. I'll hit on that Panzer IV. This SU 76 will not say our beaming. No, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Is that SU 76? Uh, it's not actually horrible. It's really not that bad. 
Ooh, we got a Churchill. Churchill trying to hit the rack here. Kind of keeps whipping, though. That was a nice hit by the Zeus gun. Caddy! Gosh dang, this spread. Oh my goodness, nothing. Jeez, that Churchill. <laughs> no mercy, my dude. No mercy on that. And they're just gonna smoke their way out of there. Very interesting that Andy's going with normal Panzer IVs. Oh, now he's starting to make the better Panzer. Oh my gosh, is he just gonna make a bunch of Panzer IVs? I love it. But it's actually really efficient if you would go lots of Panzer IVs with a Command Panzer IV. Because that is incredible. And some four coming back on in here. Not sure what he's looking to find though. Good hit. What's this gun? Gets the shot. Very nice. Okay, Maxim is currently in the building here. Uh, Church is gonna come back in here for the def to defend. Uh, does this gun, hopefully. P-34 is also back. Another great shot by the Churchill. This is, yeah, freaking Vet 1 is actually really good for the Churchill. <laughs> Broombar trying to fight a Churchill. What? Oh, that's a... That's actually a really interesting spot for a back 43. I would have put it more... Here or here? Why would you put it so far up here? Technically, the MG's not even defending it. <laughs> Stuka doesn't actually do that much of the Vickers, but kills the plane. But it that is a KV-1, who's apparently been out for a while, and I just hadn't noticed him. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I've got one now, so it can camo if it wants to. Alright, so Blue is currently the only person that has a picked a commander that has the choice to. Because someone who's never going to pick a banner because they don't have the option. Come on, caddy. That caddy is just. How did the caddy do that bad of a job at that? Jeez, man. KV1 trying to do, I guess, anything here. I'm to do a panther and a panzer four, which is not a fun time. Who's <laughs> thirty six is gonna have to back out here? That manpower. Who's got a bunch of manpower? Uh, Riker kind of has a lot of manpower. Blue has a decent amount of manpower as well, but not as much as Riker. <laughs> And he did, I think he just made an SU-85 as well. Yeah, so it used to be higher. <laughs> oh, we have a problem over here. Oh, kind of. AT gun's gonna try- Oh my gosh, everyone's just bouncing. The oh, frick, man. There we go, everybody's hitting it now. Kind, kind of blocked. Gosh, how many bounces are you freaking gonna get? Okay, there. Panther's finally dead. I bounced so much. That's insane. Let's 
These are more big with. I'm sorry, we just hit him really hard there. Oh, I'm sorry. I think that's an LEFH. Oh, he has finally picked. Oh, he picked. He picked breakthrough. And and pretty much instantly kills out his Sturm officer. <laughs> Because the serum officer is really good. He's got less 10% less suppression and nearby troops or nearby infantry have plus 2% increased accuracy. Dude, that's only going to cover like half of the freaking point. Oh, here comes all the Panzer IVs again. Oh, that, that Panzer IV is dead. Am I gonna die? Oh, jeez, what a hit, though. Alright, while well, the Churchill is uh, helping in the middle. What? Oh, the forward assembly. Got burned in all the chaos. Churchill's gonna have to back out of there, I think. Oh, they're gonna go for the snare on the T-34 instead. Okay. Um, I'm a little surprised. Oh, no, never mind. They're both getting snared. Uh, no follow-up, though, because of the caddy. Over on the left, uh, the Churchill is pushing them back. Pack 43 did very much get destroyed by a caddy, it looks like. UC is very much trying to work on the Pack 40. Come on, UC, buddy. You can do it. Yeah, he did it. Good job. He's so good. How good at his job. Firefly's gonna help on the bunker. There you go. Whoa, very aggressive. Back forward dude's gonna be done and instantly get a hit on that Churchill. Which will not kill him, but it will get a good shot. Actually not gonna get a shot off. The only face is right here. Oh, the UC died. No! How sad. Anyway. Holy crap, what's up with that? There's so many T-34s. Oh, that's railway. That, that, that thing's fine, actually. Oh, he, he got in range. Did he miss? I think it missed. Panzer 4, I appreciate the effort. But, oh my gosh, he's calling in railway again. What is the pathing going on here? Wow, that thing is almost dead. Cromwell's for sure gonna come in and just try to finish him off. Bounces, pens. There it goes. One of our panzers has been destroyed. Jeez. Okay, the railway artillery got the job done. He's like, well, I'm gonna die anyway. I might as well cross your infantry while I'm at this. <laughs> Decent hits by the caddy there. Alright, so pack 43 is here. He has gotten a shot off, so they do know it's there. Oh, Pino's gonna try to go in for a satchel. Rumbar very conflicted on what the frick he wants to do here. I guess I'll just go for these guys. Red smoke, red smoke coming in. By, oh gosh, we got air supremacy over operation. Our foes have 
which means prepare for some carpet bombing. And that the pack 43 will never see the light of day again. <laughs> that piano needs to run. Or die. Alright, I guess that's an option as well. <laughs> Ooh, that's a dead alley of age. Nice. How many caddies are shooting there? Two? And two? Uh, no, I guess it was just one. This looks like a lot of rockets. And the plane has crashed and absolutely destroyed their building. Another caddy's coming in. Alright, I think the Axis may start getting pushed out of the left side here. Oh, yeah. Especially like that. That's dead mortar. Rank is still chilling there. We do have a KT. Now coming up to the front. And an amazing Panzer IV. Holy crap, but four. Okay, some of that just hit the trees, but that's okay, I guess. He's Ooh, Ryan. Oh, he's dead. Because the rockets absolutely uh, murdered him. Yeah. I hear, I do hear a Yag pen, a Yag Tiger. Here we got, we're making one there now. Okay, he was able to grab the right again. Let's strike twice. Okay. Uh, I'm um, oh wait. I guess this is still actually a pretty good situation with the KV-1. Cause he's pretty much bouncing a lot of shots uh, while the SU-85 just uh, lights up the KT. Picks up a PTRS. Oh my gosh, no, no satchel, no satchel. So sad. Oh, double racks. Oh, I thought he would got he would have done the satchel then. Race that. That's that's some good old assault artillery. And here comes a Panzer and a Panzer IV. Oh, there's T thirty four. Oh my gosh! AT Overwatch. AT Overwatch. They're trapped. They're trapped. They're trapped. They're, tra they're not trapped anymore. One died. Six pounder. Pounder needs to take some shots. He does it on the Panther. Can he get the killing? Oh, nope. Panther's dead anyway. All right, AT Overwatch is great. Okay, uh, I think um, instead of constantly making 17 pounds. Oh my gosh, it's still alive. <laughs> Maybe instead of making more 17 pounders, how about a firefly? How about we do that? Okay, it's dead. <laughs> and I understand where we're coming from on that. Yeah, see, you made it too far back. You can't even reach him. Unless you went with the suppressive barrage thing. AT is very much up here. Oop, bounce back. Everyone's are gonna murder that rack. Maybe. Unless they can't frickin' hit it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is those shots? My goodness. Oh, he's accidentally destroying the building a little bit. Whoops. I believe... If I remember... Wow, this guy's got no frickin' army. 
Uh, what I was saying is, I believe instead of just having to have to do this, you can also build them. Repair bunkers are also available. Okay, yeah, so you can build them. Well, Panzer IV moving in on the Churchill, I guess? Oh. There's someone there? Okay, this is, uh... This is the tank force, that's for sure. I like that just reload speed gets faster. They don't actually get more accurate. They just shoot more. <laughs> I like the alien face that has been stolen. Well, they made them destroy it themselves, so... I think that works out then. Ooh, Caddy. Oh, takes out the... Ooh, could, took out a flak half-track as well. There is another one over here. And the spawning scope is almost dead, too. All right, KV-1's mo moving in with the SU-85. All that pad then, because of the KT being there. That's a r big rip of the uh, Panzer IV dying. Off to vet three, getting even more reload. Oh, we got shock troops coming up. We're about to get clapped by the KT. Go, shock troops, go! You got them. You got them, buddy. No, no, he freaking doesn't. Jeez, that that uh. KT is starting to get lit up by that SU uh, 785. Red smoke! Red smoke, we got zero in coming down. Oh, he's snared. He needs to get out. He's starting to get out of secure mode, I think. At least he needs to. They're on the move. Oh my gosh, there's so much crap over here. We got like three players. And yeah, Eric Panzer's not taking any of this crap. And we'll be a dead KV-1. And SU-85 is gonna try and get out. Do you lose both his KV ones? No, that is uh Who is that from? Oh no, that was the same KV one. Oh, did it just do the whole turn stupid thing? I think so. Nice candy shot. Pretty sure with great freaking hits. Uh, but he will have to back out, as, uh, there's all the AT there now. There's the Firefly. Oh, that's a dead Panzer IV. Very nice. Red Smoke, though, that is, uh, Railway Artillery. He is running out of munitions. He's gotta be careful. Those a bit more. <laughs> I'm only gonna want to brace this. <laughs> I would recommend bracing it. Is he gonna brace it? Okay, well that shot missed anyway. And that's it. And the panther just instantly starts getting hit. Because <laughs> that actually did absolutely nothing. Back him off. About it. Ooh, the rockets. And he'll smoke his way out of there. Vickers actually doing pretty good over here as well. 
Looks like a good caddy hit back here. Well, that's a dead LEFH. That's a dead Panzer headquarters. Okay, okay. Mm. I love this. It's a, that's actually a very... That, this is what I enjoy. Churchill and then two fireflies. Apparently, zero was dropped again somewhere. Oh, it was like right here. Okay, he's just going for repairs at the moment, which is fair. Yeah, he's firing here. Probably gonna go for the bot. Oh, I hear one over here as well. So a couple caddies going. Going for bunkers. One bunker is dead. Other bunker is getting hit pretty good. Almost dead. One more volley we got? Or was that the last? Oh, that was the last volley. That bunker does not die, though. This one did. Okay, okay, we got two SU-85s now with the one KV-1. Oh, <laughs> that got rocked. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was crazy. There's the KT. He's gonna snare the KV-1, which isn't moving anyway, so interesting choice. I guess uh, you can't really snare the other ones. And the engineers come up to repair. Over on the right, it does look like the Yag Tiger has shifted over here to start trying to push the VP and the fuel now. At this rate. As the Bubble Force has not gotten his repairs. Why is he just on free fire? Mm, this could be bad. For who? I'm not even sure right now. It'd be bad for everybody involved. Hey, there's a Panzer Vapor. Hey, it's dead. Hey, the P-34 is dead. Yeah, and there's a Panther. Not gonna be able to take advantage. AT guns are actually still coming up, though. Big man. Oh, jeez! <laughs> the ATR launches. Hey, look, there's a thing. <laughs> okay, the Panthers, uh, probably isn't the brightest strategy. Snare on the Panther. He is out of AT Overwatch, though. That's a actually pretty dang hurt Yag Tiger. So they almost got him, but I at least scared him off for right now. Oh, that's probably gonna be a dead broom bar. KT is dead. They're in probably the madness that I was watching over on the right at the same time. <laughs> oh, and there goes the broom bar. Absolutely bites the dust. There's another one bites the dust. What are they calling to scare? Okay, railway to try and scare him off. Fifty percent accuracy plus twenty-five percent armor, and MGs get fifty percent accuracy. All other team weapons plus twenty-five percent accuracy, and then of course they also sprint out of combat. Interesting. I didn't know it actually affected MGs differently. That's actually really nice to know. And other team weapons are also better. Huh. The more you know. I thought it was just uh, the infantry just being better. It's also the, uh, a bit of armor, I guess. And the black half track is dead. Probably not exactly what he was going for, but that'll work. <laughs> hmm. Over on the right, I see a lone panther. 
He was thinking about probably overrunning this uh, Vickers. Because the AT guns are over here. And that is exactly what he's going to do. There are, uh, there are no mines over here. Okay, there we go, he's scared off. No one's going to come to his aid either. This guy is not capping that. They, oh yeah, they, they got this one. Axis uh, seem to be crumbling at this point. I mean, they've lost the entire left side. The right side, uh, they've never had. And the middle is fairly contested. The shock troops coming for... For Madarasha. I'm not sure why he's using it right now. Ouch. Hey, come and see you, so. Some good old assault artillery coming down. Uh, KV-1, I'll be honest, probably does not care. Okay, I, I guess it will. It, it got actually pretty dang, dang hurt. <laughs> Churchill coming over to deal with the Pioneer. Team killer is struggling on manpower right now. He is making a er, uh, population. He is making a panther though. Hopefully make up for some of that. Dude, the Stuka killed the KV-1. That's uh, you don't see that every day. Anyway, some nice shots. Yag Tiger, for still whatever reason, is on free fire. Don't ask me why, because I don't freaking know. Like, dude, prioritize vehicles. That's what you do. It's so what you do. Well, that's dead firefly. Because that's a lot of AT. He only lost one, at least. The other one's still okay. Six Pounder is actually also setting up. Oh, oh it's because of all these pins or shreks. Jeez. Uh, mortar cover coming down by Taz here. SU 85s do not care, and they're coming charging in. That is a dead room bar. There's also AT Overwatch that was called down as well. And uh, the Panther has gotten away. Just barely. Other Panther's coming in and kills the Vet 3 SU 85. Taz will be replacing his Firefly because I think it's been working quite well for him, so he's gonna go with another one. And uh, Riker will instantly replace his SU-85. I like to have a lot of manpower, actually. The Axis uh, do not. <laughs> Looks like it ended up being more coming down to a battle of attrition. Allies are winning it because they've got way more manpower. Panther's coming as well. Panther still coming against the Vet 3 6 pounder. Very interesting move, I will say. And he picks up another Panzer Shrek. <laughs> Derm Pioneer with two Panzer Shreks. And the Stuka had an MG but did not kill it. The Vaxim comes back up to the front as well. All right, maybe I won't end up playing. I'm getting tired. <laughs> I 
Who is the MVP? I I not sure. Not sure. I mean, um, Eresy has been holding down the right pretty much very well. D Gaming's been using great use of that AT Overwatch. Uh, Riker's been getting some good picks with the SU-85s. Here comes the railway artillery. What just in? Oh, the egg, the egg tiger did. Get out! And, uh, Taz was able to eventually break the left. Well, I mean, for the Allies? I'm not sure. For the Axis, Andy's been using railway artillery to get some really good emplacements. Uh, Blue's Yag Tiger has been doing pretty solid. Just killed the KV-1 here. Uh, Pants Thief. I'm... I'm, I'm honestly not 100% sure what he's been, like, excelling at. He's starting, he's starting to make a Panzer Shrek blob. Uh, he was doing good support with um, the repair stations and holding down the left for a while. And then Team Killer, well, he has like nothing right now, but um, he's been doing pretty decent, I think, as well. And here comes the T-34s again. Wow, as they miss literally everything. That's a dead Stuka. That's a ram the Egg Tiger. AT Overwatch. Do we have support coming in? We, we, do, we do! I know that's a Panther. That's support to hopefully help. That's the T-34. There, there's some support, some six-pounders. And there's the T-85s. There we go. There's the, there's, the, there's some more good support. And that's a dead, dead egg tiger. So, I mean... That might be it. There's nothing really holding back the Allied armor now anymore. Hey, there's a Panther. Man, that's another dead black after action. <laughs> also, of course, the Cromwell died. Six pounders are going to actually just back out. They're not going to just turn. Double bounce. Wow. Actually, that's only reload speed. That three is the increase in penetration. There's a KV-1. Man, they can't hit, hit shit. Here comes the assault artillery again. Churchill and Firefly from the side here. And there goes the pack 40. And completely. Really dead. That Churchill just need okay, he's dead. Wait, no snare? Oh then he's not dead. He had the munitions for it. I thought maybe he was dead. I thought there was going to be the snare. So I thought it was over. For him. An MG is still alive with one dude. Big dive on the left here. But uh, the fireflies and the six pounder are probably going to hold that. Hold that back. One fire flies down. Six pounder is still trying to get some more shots off. So he's got no support. Here comes the support. The three SU 85s are coming. To support. Blue has dropped from the game. Oh, that thing is just pinning it on the rear. That's hilarious, actually. We also have a panther. We recruit. That could also help. Firefly goes down. But all three pan- so two fireflies and three panthers. But that's it. And it's the allies with the victory and Riker with all the manpower. <laughs> that's so much manpower.
Once this guy dropped, it instantly started making up Vulcan uh, over, which is hilarious. <laughs> okay, and that is, uh, that's that. What a matchup. <laughs> that AT Overwatch was getting really good hits in and good kills. Especially with the RAM of the T-34 on the Egg Tiger, because it was focused on a different T-34, and then you dropped in AT Overwatch, and then... The six pounders came in to help as well, and then the SU 85s for sure came in for the big uh, finish on it. But lots of good AT Overwatch uh, drops that I can remember. I think there was like two or three that I can at least recall that were pretty helpful. So there was the Yag Tiger one, there was I think one on some a bunch of Panthers. The engine's not remembering correctly, but I, I think there was a few good drops of it. Alright, let's see here. I'm gonna look through these a bit more. Four kills with the Fireflies, lost three. Ouch. Actually, not the best trade on that. Two kills, one death. Six pounder got four kills. <laughs> Jeez. And there's this gun. Okay. Four to five kills on that freaking caddy. Seven kills with the rack. Dang. Four machine gun deaths. That's that's rough. Andy, the pack 40 got two kills. That's pretty solid. 32 kills by the Panzer four. Um yeah, everything was a panzer. Oh, three vehicle kills. Jeez. And the Pants Thief with six kills with the Panther, and he lost three. Ouch. Alright, overall damage. Uh, goes to blue just barely. Andy was very close to him, but Andy had way less kills. I think most of this damage comes to hitting those emplacements. Uh, so decent, decent, uh, A good showing by blue then for that team, for the Axis. And then for the allies, they all had lots of kills, but Taz stood above everybody else for damage. Because I'm pretty sure the AT Overwatch doesn't count for this number. Um, otherwise, I'd imagine it would probably be D-Gaming. Okay, and I think that's where I am going to end it for the day.